Welcome back to Let's Play Kickmaster! And today, we enter level 2, the Caverns of No Return! And that name is very misleading because this stage is not at all dangerous. Seriously, it's not so much the Caverns of No Return as it is the Caverns of Mild Discomfort. But we do have these purple things that are shooting things at us. Seriously, I don't even know what the hell they're supposed to be. Pus? Boils? You know, let's not dwell on that. We've also got another type of enemy, the skeleton that hangs off a rope, or, well, yeah, it's a rope. And then it'll drop down when you approach and try to attack you over side. But one good knee drop will take them out. We got the knee drop in, at the end of level one, if you remember. And it is a godsend in this stage. Seriously, it will kill just about any enemy in one hit. Even the ones that usually take a couple of kicks will die in one hit with a knee drop. Up here you've got a cache of hidden power-ups, and remember kids, power-ups are good. That's the message I'm trying to get into your heads here. Power-ups are good. This guy usually will fall when you go to the very right of that cache of power-ups, but because I was sneaky, he didn't. Therefore he was easy pickings. And now we've entered a swamp. Why, why a swamp is in the caverns? Don't ask. Also, these frogs are annoying. Very annoying. In fact, when I first played this level, they hit me about three or four times. You won't see that today. You won't see that on this footage because <laughs> I was playing pretty well on this footage, I have to say. Apart from when we got to the boss, and even then it wasn't that bad. But those frogs, they look harmless enough. And one good knee drop will take them out. One perfectly placed knee drop and boom, dead frog. But for whatever reason, they were incredibly annoying the first time I played this stage. They kept jumping over me and hitting me. The bats are non-consequential really, the bats can't really do much unless they're stupid enough to walk into them and believe me there are people out there that are stupid enough to walk into them so I'm saying that for a reason Just look at the amount of bones we've got in the background here we've got heaps of bones, flashing bones in the background, these skeletons on ropes another cache of power-ups which is always nice again, power-ups, good! enemies, bad! magic spells, great, because we're about to get the third magic spell this one is much harder to find if you don't know it's there. You see that sort of pink thing that's just sticking out of the rocks on the left there? That's actually our third magic spell. But if you don't know it's there, you'd be hard pressed to find it. Drop through and go left, and there it is. This is our third magic spell, the Magic Boots. AKA the most useless spell in the game ever. Seriously, I think I had, I think there's one specific case where you can use the magic boots. If I remember correctly, it's in the very final stage of the game. And even then you don't really need to use it. Anyway, we've moved on to a different screen, and this one is slightly harder. In fact, it's a lot harder compared to what we've just been through. The armadillo soldiers that we fought during the first boss fight are back. And we've got these rotodisc rip-off things. Remember the rotodisc from Super Mario 3? These sort of orb shooters are much the same. Except the Super Mario 3 orb shooters didn't give off a crap ton of items when you killed them. We jump up here and we're about to run a gauntlet of enemies, which is never good. Including frogs, which is worse. I hate frogs in this game. This should be obvious by now. I love to knee drop them. <laughs> I also love to play soccer with these falling enemies. You can do it if you're quick enough. And we've just leveled up. So that means we've got a new kick, but I'll show off what that kick is later. Right now, it's not useful. In fact, it's kind of detrimental to your health, because if you use it, it'll take you too far and a bunch of enemies will spawn. And you do not want to uh, to do that. Um, it turns out I was wrong about the one hit kill thing. The armadillo starts to take two knee drops. So sorry about that false information, it wasn't intentional. I think that's it. Yes it is. I'm gonna he I heal up here because it's time for a boss! And don't worry folks, this one's not nearly as pathetic as the boss from stage one. So 
interestingly, this boss is actually based on a monster in Greek mythology called Skyla. The fight itself is pretty simple, really. She's invincible, and she sends these four wolves off to uh, try and kill you. The wolves can shoot projectiles and leap into you, as they've already done a number of times in this fight. But two knee drops will take them out, or five normal kicks, or a couple of sliding kicks. That's actually our new attack, by the way, the sliding kick. I forgot to mention that. Sky will back up her wolves with a cover fire from her mouth. That kind of sounded dirty. And once they're dead, she's vulnerable, so just jump up and kick her. That's all there is to it, the boss is dead. Except she isn't because, oh crap, she's lurking in the background. Whatever, let's just grab our new magic. Which is... Twin power! Sounds like something out of Yu-Gi-Oh! But it's useful, it's certainly more useful than the flipping magic boots. It's more of a gimmick more than anything, but it's fun. And you'll get to see it in the next video. Because in that next video, we are going to be tackling the next level of the game, which is a dungeon. So be sure to stick around for that. For now, I am Reniac, and I am out.